YouTube, how the heck are you doing? I am doing great and I hope you are too. It's pretty cold now that uh, winter has fallen upon us. Today is actually uh, not even 10 degrees. I think it's like 6 degrees, something like that. But it's just crazy. I, so I thought I'd just stay in and do a little unboxing for you. I just picked up this little guy from Samsung. It's the portable SSD T5. Now I do have the uh, younger brother of it, the T3. I have this in the 250 gig brand and I loved using it. It's good portable drive to have when you need to back up videos or pictures or whatever you're taking real quick and be on the road. So I have that to compare the new T5, but let's go ahead and break open this packaging. Like I said, I've been using the Samsung T3 for a while. So I thought I'd step it up with the T5, see if we get anything different as far as speed and everything. But I also stepped up the, uh, but I also stepped up the size of the drive itself. So this is the 500 gigabyte. I want to make sure I get that right because I've been uh, known to misdo my megabytes and gigabytes. But this is 500 gigabyte. So we are going to see just how exactly that goes when I go to back up stuff. And I'll do a little speed test between the two so you can see how it goes also. But there it is. It's uh, the 500 gigabyte T5. They got the nice logo on the front. And then the only port they have is the USB-C on the side there. And then they're imprinting and whatever on that side. But uh, as far as size wise, it's right on spot with the T3. So you're getting a nice lightweight drive. 500 gigabytes, super fast speed as far as backing up our reading from it, which I'll show you in a minute or two. But let's go ahead and see what else we got in here. We got your obligatory user guide, quick start guide, things we don't usually read. We have our, our USB-C to USB-C cabling. It's probably like a three footer or so. So you can go a little bit far with that. And then we have the uh, USB-A to USB-C cabling for the older models. But I have a MacBook Pro, so that's what uh, is going to come in handy for my backups and everything. Mainly moving f large files off my hard drive so I have more space to do my video editing and then photo editing and Photoshop and whatever I may be doing. But uh, like I said, it's a nice little device. I've been liking the T3. Uh, I have been wanting to step up to the higher capacity of a 500 gigabyte, so that's what brought me to this guy. And uh, T5 should be faster. I didn't compare too many of the specs between the two when I was uh, looking to buy this, but I figured usually the latest technology is the best technology, but we'll see in our test. But stick around and let's do a little test on these guys. Alright guys, we're open to uh, Blackmagic Speed Disk Test. And I'm going to use the uh, same cable for both the T3 and the T5 uh, that came with the T5 actually. So that is a USB-C cable on both ends. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in on my laptop there. And in a second we should see it appearing on the desktop, a T3 250 gigabyte. So let's go ahead and go up to File, select the target disk. And we'll scroll down. It is already pre-selected. So we'll go with that. And we'll start the speed test. It's starting out slow with the right. 240, 250, 286. Now over to the read we're going. Most of the categories it gave the green arrow as far as what it can do. So you can see that uh, the speed for the right on the T3 is ranging in the 236 range. And the read is the 423. Now we're at 312. And we dropped a bit in the read area to 403 from 423. And then we'll just do one more set. So we got 303. 
and 414. So the three readings of debt for the T3 is a right of 236, 312, and 303. And for a read on the T3, I got a 423, a 403, and a 414. So let's go ahead and dismount this disc and plug in the next one. All right, here we are back again. We got the Samsung T5 hooked up there. Let's just verify that it is the target drive. So I'll scroll down, select that. As you can see, I got some YouTube videos on that already. And let's go ahead and start a speed test. It's taken off pretty quick already for the right test to 477. And then jumping over to the read, we got a 508. Back to right, we got the 460, I think it's going to stay at 461. And then back over to read, 507. And our last reads for these and writes, see where it tops off at, 476. And last but not least, a 507, I believe. So 507. So there you go for the T5 drive. It came in with a write of 477. 461 and 436 and a read of 508, 507 and 507. There you go guys. I think it's a pretty good improvement over the T3. Uh, more in the right area than the read but uh, I think I'm going to like this drive. So there you have it my little quick update and unboxing on the Samsung T5 portable SSD. It's going to be a good companion to my T3 that I have here. It's pretty full right now as far as uh, YouTube videos and other videos that I'm producing on the side. So we'll see how this guy holds up in the long run. But until then I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and I will see you next time guys. Have a good one.